The origins of bikey patches can be traced back to the 1920s when the American Motorcyclist Association was founded. Groups of riders from the same area would gather together at motorcycle events, and would often embroider the name of the group on the backs of their jackets or clothing. Following the US, in Australia the Auto Cycle Union of Australia was formed in 1928 to represent the interests of sports-based motorcycle clubs, and would eventually become Motorcycling Australia, the country's representative body for motorcycle racing. There is a great amount of pride and tradition surrounding motorcycle clubs, and it's easy to see why. Bikey patches reflect the tradition for all the world to see. Before 1947, bikers wore the patches as decorative pieces. Over time, they used motorcycle patches to express their riding skills, distinctive character and used the patches as an identity. But when rowdy biker groups sprouted, AMA outlawed them. This brought to light the 99% and 1% motorcycle patch. In this video we look into Australia's big six bikey club patches and how they might have come into existence. Hells Angels The club's patch was first suggested by Arvid Olsen, an associate of the founders who had served in the Hells Angel squadron of the Flying Tigers in China during World War II. The patch was inspired by the tradition from World Wars I and II, whereby the Americans gave their squadrons fierce, death-defying titles. An example of this lies in one of the three P-40 squadrons of Flying Tigers fielded in Burma and China, which was dubbed Hells Angels. In 1930, the Howard Hughes film Hells Angels showcased extraordinary and dangerous feats of aviation, and it is believed that World War II groups that used that name based it on the film. The Hells Angels official website attributes the official death's head insignia design, to Frank Sadelec, past president of the San Francisco Charter. The colors and shape of the early style jacket emblem were copied from the insignias of the 85th Fighter Squadron and the 552nd Medium Bomber Squadron. Bonditos MC The Bonditos Motorcycle Club was founded by 36-year-old dock worker Donald Eugene Chambers on March 4, 1966, in San Leon, Texas. Chambers named the club in honor of the Mexican bandits who lived by their own rules, and he recruited members from biker bars locally in Houston as well as in Corpus Christi, Galveston, and San Antonio. The Bonditos insignia, known as the Fat Mexican, consists of a caricature of a Mexican bandit wearing a sombrero and holding a sword in one hand and a pistol in the other. The design is credited to the club's founder, Donald Chambers. The Fat Mexican bears a resemblance to the controversial Chips mascot Frito Bandito, a cartoon mascot of the Fritos Corn Chips brand, and according to Bonditos lore, Chambers took the club's name and logo there from the mascot. A Frito Bandito in your house. Finks MC The Finks is an Australian outlaw motorcycle club that was formed in Adelaide, Australia, in 1969 and now also has chapters in other states. Details of the club's early days are difficult to find, and information on who founded the club is unknown. The name comes from the Wizard of Id cartoon where the peasants, often proclaim, the king is a fink. The logo used by the finks is a bung, the king's jester. The pants worn by the jester used to differ in color depending on the state the chapter resides in. In 2014 there was a redesign of the finks patch, where there was a transition from the drunk character bung, to a much more aggressive character holding a gun. Comanchero MC William George Jock Ross, a Scottish immigrant, formed the club in Sydney, Australia, in 1968. He chose the name after seeing the 1961 John Wayne film The Comancheros. The Comanchero MC patch has a condor as a focus, with a yellow and red coloring on a black background. Jock ruled the club with a strong hand, introducing military tactics to take them into war against other clubs. He also gave the members military-style titles like Sergeant at Arms and Supreme Commander. Rebels MC The Rebels Motorcycle Club was founded by Clint Jacks in Brisbane, Australia in 1969 and was originally named the Confederates. As the name suggests they considered themselves as rebels and their insignia is a Confederate flag with a cap-wearing skull and 1% patch in the center. The flags were known as the Stars and Bars. 
However, it is little known about the history design and how it was developed and adopted. With rules. We've got a set of rules that we all agreed on. So when you step out of line, we'll step you at the club. It's as simple as that. You break them rules, you learn the club. But then again... Mongols MC. Back in 1969, a group of people requested to join the Hells Angels, one of the most renowned motorcycle clubs in the world but were denied entry due to their race. Following that incident, the Mongols Motorcycle Club was created, becoming Hells Angels' biggest rival. The famous Genghis Khan insignia was designed on Big Al Aceves who had returned home after serving Ranger in Vietnam. He and some friends started the legendary Mongols Motorcycle Club and used his pictures as the insignia. Uh, my name is Big Al Aceves, I'm the co-founder of the this was a brief explanation on how the patches of the big six MCs in Australia evolved. Hope you enjoyed this list, make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share.